Managing your Revit model project standards with ID8 Vimlink and Microsoft Excel. Your Revit project is in full swing. There are multiple team members working on the project. Aside from having to meet the tight deadlines, the team is also responsible for making sure that the Revit model stays consistently organized based on your company's Revit project standards. This requires everyone on the team to be very diligent when it comes to creating, loading, modifying, and duplicating families, annotations, and their type parameters. However, as with most projects, and especially those which are complex and fast-paced, there is always the possibility of error. How can we then ensure that our model is being organized based on our Office Revit project standards? ID8 Vimlink can be used to bring and maintain standardization to your Revit projects. The predefined project standards links in ID8 Vimlink were made primarily for use by team members or even by BIM managers to oversee the Revit model for compliance with specific project or office standards at any point during the project. Several of the predefined links look specifically at organizing family and type names for both 2D and 3D content at the same time. Other links look specifically at organizing graphical settings like line color and line weight. The predefined project standards links can be found by opening up ID8 Vimlink from the add-ins tab on your Revit user interface, and then selecting the load sample tool, selecting the project standards folder in the source directory drop-down menu, which then gives you a list of the predefined project standards links. One thing to note is that when selecting any one of the predefined links, Vimlink gives a brief description of what that link does. Another thing to note is that many of the project standards links are designed to manage a single data category, such as those for materials or generic annotation families. But there are a few links, however, such as those for assembly code and renaming types, which are multi-category links and show data across multiple categories. Also in ID8 BIM link, you may export information from link Revit files by checking the Include Linked Elements option as shown on the image to the right. First, we're going to take a look at the predefined links primarily meant for editing family and type names. The assembly code link can be used to assign the assembly code parameter to align with your specifications or construction standards. This particular link is a multi-category link, which means that information can also be gathered from system families, which are the elements you see grayed out, as well as 2D content. The details link may be used to rename the family and type name for custom detail components. 2D detail components can often bring unwanted clutter to a project browser as detail families are imported from various outside sources. These can easily be renamed and reorganized by using the project standards details link. The profile types link can be used to rename the family and type name for profile elements. The rename types link may be used to rename all of the family and type names within a project or within a seed file. This particular link is also a multi-category link, which means that information can also be gathered from system families. The title blocks link can be used to rename and resize title block families. The view types link may be used to edit view type data, including type, default view template assignment, as well as callout tag and elevation tag assignments. The generic annotations link may be used to edit symbols and other generic annotation type parameters. Symbols and match line families are managed within the generic annotation category. You can use the project standards annotation link to keep naming standards in alignment with company standards. The tags link may be used to edit tag type name to align with company standards. In this brief demonstration, we will take a look at one application of the rename types link. First, we'll go to the Add-ins tab, open up ID8 BIM link, select the Load Sample tool, and then in the source directory, select the Project Standards folder. From there, we get a list of the predefined Project Standards links from which we'll select Rename Types. Here we can see that it's a multi-category link used to rename family and type names of all our select families within our Revit model. I'll go ahead and hit Next. In this dialog box, we can see a long list of categories that we can select from. For this particular demonstration, let's say we are only interested in specific categories of families. 
So I'll go ahead and do a search for the lighting fixture category, as well as the plumbing fixture category. So now I'll go ahead and switch over to the Properties tab. On the right side is a list of properties that BIMLINK is going to export out into an Excel file. On the other side is a list of other available properties from which we can choose from. We can also filter the list of properties by system, project, or family parameters. We can look at properties pertaining to project information or Revit links, and we can also select the Include Linked Elements option if we want to extract data from our link files. Now we can select Done, Export, Save, and then open the Excel file. Here we can see that BIMLINK has exported the family name, type name, and type mark of the lighting fixture and plumbing fixture categories. Now what we can do is some formulation off to the side and rename families. Let's say we want to add the master format numbers as a prefix to the family name. For the lighting fixtures, the master format number would be 265000. Now what we can do is concatenate or combine columns F and C. Fill down, copy to clipboard, and then paste the values to column C. Now we'll do the same thing for the plumbing fixtures, whose master format number would be 224000. We'll then again concatenate columns F and C, fill down, copy to clipboard, and then paste the values to column C. Now that we've renamed the lighting and plumbing fixture families, we can now save and close the file. And then import the modified link back into Revit. Here we can see the modifications made, which are the cells highlighted in yellow. We can see that there are zero errors and warnings, so now we can hit import. Now in the project browser, we see that the family names of both the lighting and plumbing fixtures have been modified. Please note that a multi-category link, such as a project standards rename link, is useful for mass editing across multiple data categories, but does exclude certain properties that are only available within category-specific links, as we'll see in the next demonstration. Next, let's take a look at the predefined project standards links that export annotation parameters. The filled regions link can be used to rename fill patterns and assign color and line weight. Finding the correct filled region type is difficult when consistent naming conventions are not applied. Use the project standards regions links to organize the filled regions by an industry standard such as CSI divisions. The line types link may be used to edit the line weight and line color values. The materials link can be used to edit material names, keynotes, and comments. It can also be used to audit material type, thermal asset, and physical asset assignments. As with detail components, it may be useful to adopt an industry naming standard to help keep these well organized. The textiles link can be used to manage text font, size, and width which is perfect for use in templates. In this brief demonstration, we will take a look at the project standards filled regions link. Here we have a finished plan with multiple filled regions. When we zoom in closer, we can see that some of the filled regions are much too heavy on line weight. Instead of having to select each filled region and editing the type, we can use i8 bim link to modify altogether all filled region line weights within an Excel file. So first we'll go to the Add-ins tab, open up i8 BIM link, and then select the Load Sample tool. We'll again go to the source directory and select the Project Standards folder. From the list of predefined links, we'll go ahead and select the Filled Regions link, which we can use to manage color and line weight of all filled regions within a Revit model. As you can see here, BIM link has already started to generate the link for us. We'll go ahead and hit Done, Export, save an Excel file, and then open the file. Here we can see that BIMLINK has exported the different field regions within our project. 
as well as the parameters for color and line weight. What we can do now is scroll through the list and look for the filled regions with thicker line weights. Change them as needed to a thinner line weight, save the file, close it down, and then import the data back into our Revit model. When I scroll down this list, the cells which have been modified are again highlighted in yellow. We can see that we have zero errors and warnings, so now I can hit import. Now, if we zoom into our finish plan, we can see that the filled regions that we were looking at earlier now have a thinner line weight. The predefined links in the project standards directory of ID8 BIM link can be used to more efficiently organize and manage a Revit model based on your project or office standards. We can also modify the links as needed and save for future use, or also possibly for inclusion in your office template. For additional information on ID8 BEMLINK project standards links, please check out our health files, which can be found under the support tab, select ID8 BEMLINK. Under the heading health files, select the link, view the health files. After selecting the link, next go to the ID8 BEMLINK section, and then to the how to section, and then select Manage Project Standards. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8BIMLINK.